In this video, we're going to be making some changes to our solar system design. Uh, last time what we did is like we were uh, able to uh, let the earth follow or rotate the sun uh, using um, like uh, using a constraint which was the uh, the clamp constraint. So this time we're going to be using another constraint in order to get the same effect where uh, the distance uh, between the earth and uh, the sun stays the same and they keep uh, the earth keeps rotating uh, around the sun. So for that we're going to need a bigger cube here at the center. Scale it with the S. Uh, let's say that this is the sun, right? We're gonna add a material mm, and then let the base color to be yellow. You can see the effects if you are here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out, right? And then we're gonna have our, uh, let's just choose a random space like that far away and then we're going to put another mesh and then UV sphere scale it a little bit like that looking good let's just put it here nice okay now once we have that, let's just ban it. Okay, uh, let's add a material. Let's just make it blue. Okay, so this time what we need to do here is that I wanted to add a constraint to this object, right? So for that, we're going to be going here and add a constraint. So last time we did the constraint of clamp 2 where actually uh, where this object can be a clamp to a circular or any basal path and it stays there. So an easier way to kind of achieve the same uh, l same effect what we can do is to use the limit the distance and the target is basically gonna be the sun, right? Let's just call that Earth. Okay, the target is gonna be the sun and we wanted it to be on the surface. Now if you look at the x-axis, right? You have that. So basically, let's just not do that. So zoom out and let's see what happens so look at hey, look here that the uh, distance stays the same wherever i move it it actually doesn't change anything but it is in the 3d so maybe you will see it's coming close but if you move here so the the distance stays the same Okay, so in order for the animation again, we're going to keep it here, right? And then we'll say insert keyframe uh, of the location, then maybe on the tw 10th, 20th, uh, we're going to move it. here and then keyframe of the location and then at the 40th here insert keyframe by I Then on 60th, I'm 
I then on 80th gonna say I and then the available and at hundred available And the last two are going to be here, I, available, I, available. So let's just go here and see what's going on and let's just run it. Of course, wait one second, we want to run up to 160, nice, and now run it, So you can see that we can actually make the animations like that by using this constraint. Thanks for watching.